What's going on guys? Jacob Borth back here with another video of Jacob's Life in Vegas coming to you guys with something that was in the news very recently here uh, in Las Vegas. And I got an article from the Review Journal. I want to uh, talk about this and read some of it from you guys. But this is about MGM and MGM Resorts planning to uh, lay off uh, quite a few employees actually uh, within their company as a way to try to save money and uh, save on costs over the coming years. So actually let me turn this way a little bit for you guys. Hey, we need a little bit better lighting here. As I read some of this to you here, um, so there's an article from the Review Journal, I'll link it down below, by Todd Prince. So here's something with MGM going on. It says, MGM Resorts International plans to cut its staff to save $100 million by the year 2020. This is their plan. Uh, let's see, the company said layoffs are part of a program boost, a program to boost operating cash flow by $300 million a year by 2021. MGM Resorts will also centralize operations and invest in technology. Uh, let's see. Now, this is the part where it comes to the jobs getting cut. The savings potentially imply 2,000 job cuts in the company. Uh, though most of the layoffs will be managers or higher, the company said some union jobs could be eliminated. That's something I want to touch on at the end of the video. Uh, MGM Resorts said in May they plan to boost operating cash as much as 39% to 3.9% billion dollars by 2020 uh, in part through cost cutting and investments in digital technology thursday's announcements laid out how the company plans to get there so something here is the next part of the article talks about the share decline at mgm i know some of you follow vegas a lot you're really into these companies and how they operate so i'm sure some of you heard about this mgm resort shares have tumbled a quarter over the past 12 months compared with a 7.3 percent drop for the s p 500 as the company has missed its own quarterly earnings targets. The decline has sparked media reports that activist investors are interested in shaking up the company. Now the centralization debate, this part for MGM. It says MGM, MGM Resorts will operate 18 casinos in the US when it completes the acquisition of properties in New York and Ohio later this month. Uh, most of the company's operations though are right here on Las Vegas Boulevard, uh, which makes you know the centralization part a logical move for them. Uh, it also mentions how their biggest competitor here in Las Vegas, Caesars Entertainment Corporation, um, is the largest casino operator by properties, is much more centralized than MGM is. So I get you guys to the second part of the article here, where it goes a little bit more into some other areas of the cuts. Uh, let's see, Credit Suisse has said that cost cutting will enable MGM to shrink profitability gap with Caesars. Uh, let's see, Caesars strip properties have a cash flow margin around 37% compare with just 30% for MGM. So the area where MGM plans to use a good chunk of this money is when it comes to targeting promotions. That's what this article says here. It says MGM Resorts is finishing an aggressive investment cycle that saw it spend more than $6 billion to build three casinos and an arena. The company said it expects to reallocate some of its annual capital expenditures to technology. One area ripe for cost cutting with the help of technology is promotional expenditures. Casino operators historically have spent a significant portion of their budgets trying to attract players, right? They're always trying to get new players to come to these casinos, new players to come gamble and spend their money. New technology enables operators to collect more data on consumers and better target promotions, including through mobile apps, potentially cutting costs and improving revenue. So it's interesting that MGM is cutting, you know, around 2,000 employees, what they say. And the plan I know in the article mentions for this to be you know, pretty much managers and higher, but this is, I think this is definitely going to wind up affecting union jobs. And I talked about this in the video uh, back probably last year in May or June when it came to like the whole, um, you know, unions having their negotiations for their contracts with the large properties of the large companies here on the strip. Because that was one of the things I said that I thought, you know, when it comes to their next contract negotiation, I think it's in five years. So 2023, uh, one of the things I said is I think it's going to be tough for the unions because a credit or I mean, a technology is going to be replacing a lot of jobs here on the strip. And these companies, these casinos, these hotels, they always want to increase their profit margin, do what they can to get more money. So, you know, having to you know negotiate with unions to pay more money, to offer more benefits and more training, it's much simpler and easier and much more cost efficient for them, you know, to just, hey, replace somebody with a machine. And, you know, that way there's a whole bunch of other issues that, you know, you wind up getting rid of by replacing somebody with a machine. So I think technology is going to be having a much bigger impact than, you know, this article is leading on in the future when it comes to MGM and the other properties here. 
other people I know are concerned about the economy, how that's going to be doing here, you know, in the near future, uh, because, you know, MGM is the largest employer in the state of Nevada. Uh, they have about 54,000 employees, which is twice as much. They're right around twice as much as their next closest competitor, Caesars Entertainment, which is around like 27,000. So MGM is the, you know, those are the two big players here on the strip, but MGM is big enough that they can obviously set a trend. If MGM is doing something, obviously other places are going to take notice, right? I mean, you know, when it came to something like parking, right? MGM was the first one to start parking, other places started to follow. MGM is cutting these jobs because they think they can save money in other places. You know, I wouldn't be shocked if other places try to do something similar to this. They started to try to follow certain, part, certain parts of MGM's model because they think MGM is probably onto something. So I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. You know, the fact that MGM is planning to cut a couple thousand jobs you know, from their company and just, you know, with the way their operation is going right now. Some of you, like I said earlier, follow MGM and follow these companies big time. I know you like to follow their, um, you know, all their stocks and see how their uh, investments are doing and things like that. So, you know, if you guys want to tell me what you think about this in the comments section down below, please do. If you guys want to talk to me on Clarity, link down below for that as well. If you want to support me on Patreon, link down below over there. You can support me on Patreon. That's going to be it for this video, guys. Please subscribe. I'm Jacob. This is my life in Vegas.